during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about another handy app you can use on your phone or your iPad if you want to. The Soybean Diseases app from Ag PhD. We developed this just a couple of years ago in conjunction with the American Phytopathological Society. It's a really handy app, Brian. There's so many different diseases that could pop up in your fields. When you look uh, at, no matter where you're farming, just look at what the universities have done in your area for disease work, and there's probably a dozen different diseases that are very common for your area with soybeans. But can you distinguish between them? I talk to farmers all the time and say, well, hey, I know this weed and this weed and this weed and this weed. Yeah, that's great, but how about diseases? Well, I don't know, the plant has a disease. No, you have to know what it is so you can protect yourself because this year, for example, we had a wet spring across much of the growing area where soybeans were going in. So soybeans are getting put into some muddy, uh, wet ground, cold ground. And there are a lot of things like Pythium, Rhizoctonia, fusarium that are popping up on plants just all throughout fields. And it may be one plant here and there. It may be patches out in fields. You've got to figure out what it is so you can put a stop to those problems. You don't want them to be happening to your soybeans for the next 20 years. You want to take care of it as soon as you can. And then there are a lot of leaf diseases that can come on as the season progresses as well. And it's important to know whether those diseases are bacterial or fungal. And there are ways to figure those things out. So you can use this app for a number of things but we just really encourage you to download that app and check that out because when I walk through soybean fields on a regular basis I'm finding diseases all the time and yes it might not be very widespread but the whole thing is with fungicides it's important to control the disease before it is across the entire field you want to identify it just in little spots spray the fungicide and stop it right there yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Just looking at pictures is very helpful for me. I can pull up the app, I can look through the pictures and just see, hey, what does this one look like? And oftentimes there's some helpful tips there about, hey, you're going to find this in the middle of the stem if you split the stems open, or you need to dig this up and actually inspect the roots and look at what color they are, or look for fungal growth on the roots, those kinds of things. Now, this is in no way a substitute for sending plants in to a university or a lab but it's a great way to get a head start on it and say, oh, here's the symptoms, here's what it looks like. I really suspect it's this disease or this one. Could you help me determine that? Well, the problem with sending something in to a plant pathologist is it might take a few days or even a week to get the answer back. Well, in the meantime, that disease could spread and now you lost the opportunity to protect your yield. Well, there are a lot of handy tools out there on the farm. One that I really like to have, though, is the Ag PhD Soybean Diseases app. You can download it for free. It's free to use, and there's some great information for you. You can also check out the Ag PhD Field Guide, where we have a lot of different weeds on there and our best ways to control those weeds. One of the weeds we're going to talk about later in the show, though, is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 